Hi everybody, Marty Rubin, Director of Sales and General Manager at the Argyle Theatre, and I'm back for another segment of Marty's Corner, and I'm very excited. We have Tia, how do you pronounce the, the last name? I want to get Carapleis. we're gonna make sure that we get it exactly right. <laughs> Tia Carapleis, who's playing the very lovable, very flirty, yes. very outgoing, <laughs> right? Um, are those good characteristics, yeah, yeah, yeah. right? Yeah, those are all, all correct. High schooler mm -hmm. with a little chip on her shoulder, maybe a, big, a little chip? Big. A big chip on her shoulder, yeah. <laughs> Ariel Moore in the hit musical, Footloose. Footloose. Yeah. So does that capture the character a little bit? Yeah, I would say so. I think that's, yeah, very flirty, very uh, rebellious. Yes. But also, I think she has a lot of heart. Yes, yes. Well, it's, it's been great. I have to tell you, it's been so much fun watching you perform out here. I mean, you're, you're burning <laughs> up the stage out here. Is it, has it been fun for you? It's an absolute blast every night. The cast is amazing, yes. and the energy in the room is always like at 100. percent I'm sure you can feel it. I'm sure the audience feels it. Oh yeah, no, we, we, we definitely feel it. The you know when when you do a show that was a very popular movie, do you go back and, and look at how let's say Laurie Singer played the, your character? You know, I didn't. I don't know. I think if it were a different show a different like role in a movie maybe I would have but for this one in particular because the script is written the way it is I wanted it to feel honest to me um, and I think if I had watched someone else do it beforehand I would have just been copying how they do it yeah, so yeah. I haven't watched it <laughs> well it, no, it, it, it works different for different people right like that yeah you know there's a lot of classic songs in this show that people have been singing all their life that sometimes they don't remember are in the show. Yeah. Okay. You happen to sing one that everyone knows, Almost Paradise. Yes. Okay. With uh, Peyton Cassidy. Yeah. And um, how important is chemistry when the two of you are singing a, a beautiful love song like that? Is that important? Yeah, I think it is. I think, I mean, I'm sure every actor out there has been in a show where they don't really get along with their scene partner, and it's apparent because, yeah. I, again, like it's all energy between people, and right. I, Peyton and I get along so well, we're great yeah. friends now, and I think that that just helps like create a relationship on stage. Right, right, no, I, it, it's apparent because we, everybody feels the chemistry <laughs> out there, so it's good. Where, where are you from, by the way? I am from Cleveland, Ohio. Cleveland. Are you, are you a sports fan back in, uh, in Cleveland? You know, I watched the Cavs for a couple seasons. Okay. But that's about it. The good seasons when they, the when they were the champs? Yeah, when they were yeah. winning, of course. Yes, yes. <laughs> but, so you know if you if you watch Marty's Corner, there's going to be a sports reference. Okay? So here we, here we go. Stay oh, with me. Stay with me. All right. So I've been playing ball and watching sports since I was a little kid. And when I was in college playing baseball, um, before the game, you know, you take infield practice, you, you know, you take batting practice. And then I would sit on the bench and I would look over at the opposing pitcher, pitching, and I would laser focus on him. How is the ball coming out of his hand? How is it the release point? What does the fastball look like? What is the curve? Just so that I could be ready for my first at bat. Mm. We're about an hour and a half out from tonight's performance. Yeah. What is Tia doing between now and 7.30? to get yourself ready to be at your absolute best? I think I always like to get here early. I, I love getting wherever I need to be early so that I can kind of settle in. Um, I'll do a little bit of a warm up. I'll do some jumping jacks to get my heart rate going. Right. Um, but I think just like being in the space and kind of settling in is the biggest thing for me. Because right. if I feel like I'm rushed and I like, I don't know, haven't gotten my bearings, like. I'll feel ungrounded in the show, but right, as long right. as I feel like, okay, we're all here, I've said hello to everybody, like, right. I, yeah. And I, I kind of do the same thing every show. Like, I'm, I'm right. a little- It's like a routine. Yeah, a yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I, I have to have my binder open or else yeah. I'll feel like something's gonna go wrong. I, I, I completely relate. It's a superstition yeah. or, or ritual, whatever it is. It's a, it gives you that comfort level. Yeah, it's yes. weird. No, I don't know. I don't need I don't, it anymore. I don't but I'm like, it. I just, I need it to be open, or yes. else, because it was open like the first night we did it, and everything went well. So now yes. it has to be open. Yes. <laughs> has, has your family or anybody come to see you? Yeah, both of my parents came on separate days, and they loved it. And I've had friends from the city because it's such an easy right. train ride. Do you ride. feel that extra energy when the, you have your it's family nice. in the audience? It's nice. Say, Tia, we love it. It's a little more nerve wracking. Yes. But yeah, it's nice. Yeah. All right. So I'm going. I'm going to set the scene for you. Are okay. you ready? Are you ready? All right, so the, the two of us are hanging out on Main Street mm -hmm. in front of the Argyle Theater. Mm -hmm. And I turn to you and I say, 
cut loose, foot loose, everybody cut foot loose, take off your Sunday shoes. It, and then it's so contagious, the song, that you start to dance. And you start busting those awesome moves that you do every night here, all right? And then there's a giant crowd that comes forming around us. It's a big party outside. And everybody's watching you dance. Okay. And a, and a couple comes up right to you and said, you're a really good dancer. Are you in the show? I was thinking of coming to see in the show. Do you think I'd like it? Oh my gosh. What would you say to that couple to make them want to come to the show? You can't not like the show. It's so fun. It's like contagious. You're gonna leave in a, in a good mood if you come. And I also think that it's very important like with everything that's going on in the world right now. Right, right. So it's very fun and it's not gonna, it's not gonna dampen your mood, but it's also gonna make you leave thinking. Yes. Which I think is right. the goal of art. Right, well you, you bring up an interesting point. So there, there are a, quite a few messages in here, you know, really good messages. What do you take away from this as the most important message in, in the show? Um, I think my big takeaway is that you can't, nothing will get solved from pushing something under the rug. I think my favorite part of the show is the Reverend and his speech at the end. Who's, your, like, who's your dad? Who's my dad and who's just brilliant. He's such right. a phenomenal actor. And my favorite part of the show that when I'm on stage is just getting to sit and watch him deliver this monologue um, because it, it really it grounds the show. It's what it's what everything right. is about. And leading up to that, the whole town of Beaumont has just been. No one has been talking about the issues and the problems at hand. Right. And all the town needed was someone to come in and say, "No, like let's talk this out and come right. to a solution, and we'll figure it out from there." And right. I think that that is the main. Yeah. No, it's true. And and, and your relationship with him yeah. brings that out. I mean, it, it's you know you have your your relationship you know with Ren, yeah. and then with your dad, those are two really important relationships in the show. Right, yeah, because I mean, Ren comes in and he's so open and willing to talk about anything and try anything, Right. and I think that's what my character is really searching for, versus the Reverend, my dad, is so closed off that I can't pull anything out of him, and I right. think that's the what right. I'm grappling with. When, when you're doing all the, there's a lot of dancing in the show, a really terrific dancer. How are you able to pace yourself when you might be doing a, a monologue after, mm -hmm. like, you know, if you might go straight to a high energy song to, you know, a serious scene, how do you, how, you know, you want to be out of breath? Right. How do you do that? I think a lot of it is adrenaline. I think a lot of it is, I mean, if I guess what I do is try and focus on the story and, like, sure, like holding out for a hero is a hit song, but it's also. Right. There's a meaning. And that's and really, your, you, you, you really shine during that, that, that song. <laughs> that's a really fun. It's really fun. It's yeah. really fun. But it also is more than just a song in the context of the show. Like right. it's telling the story. And I think if you focus on that, that kind of, I don't know, your body just kind of naturally knows how to pace yourself right. To, right. to take you throughout the show. There's a rhythm to it yeah. for you. Yeah. yeah. Well, you do a great job. And I, I have to tell everybody, we're playing straight through to Sunday, August 28th. If you want to come out and see Tia and the rest of this fantastic cast, you got to come out and see Footloose. You'll be singing that theme song. You, you won't be able to get it out of your head. So we can't wait to see you at the Argyle Theater.